Today is the day, and this is what we're doing. Lens flare. So today I'm headed to the dentist. And no, that's not what the video is gonna be about. But uh, about two months ago, back in January, I had scheduled a cleaning, one of my annual cleanings or whatever, and it, it didn't happen because uh, the person I, the, the place I go is Celebration Dental and they have two locations. I only go usually to the Front Street location. Well, the lady I talked to uh, got it wrong and, and scheduled me for uh, their other location. So anyway, um, I just rescheduled and that is now gonna be today. So I figured while I'm headed over here, I'm gonna jump into Celebration. Uh, do a little bit of uh, Market Street stuff, uh, stuff that I failed to show last time I was there. And there's also a new shopping center and a whole new uh, subdivision that's been added to Celebration over the past uh, year or so. And I want to check that out, show you uh, kind of what some of the stores are in the new area and just kind of what the new area looks like. Uh, it'll be a first time for both of us. Well, I just got out of my dental appointment and uh, my teeth are all sparkly clean now. I have to go back uh, in about six weeks to have a little bit more work done, but that's something I've known about for a while. Nothing pressing, but it does need to get taken care of. Uh, but yeah, so here we are back again in celebration. Been doing a lot of these celebration videos lately. But hey, it's a beautiful place here. I love hanging out here. So one of the things that I didn't show when I was here the other day, because I didn't know this was happening, is I came in here to the Cornerstone Market and got a coffee. But what I didn't know is that less than a week later, they'd be closed. So that's kind of interesting. So yeah, when I was here a couple weeks ago with Brooke and Mom, I didn't even film going in there, or I would have had I known that they were about to close. So yeah, that's kind of a bummer. Uh, they actually had good, really good coffee here. I've gotten there a couple of times. Uh, it was just kind of like a little quickie mart, almost kind of uh, kind of place, but there's nothing like that down here now in, uh, in Celebration, in downtown Celebration anyway. Of course, we've got a Publix on either end of, of uh, Celebration, only about a mile and a half either direction. Uh, and one of those we're actually headed towards now, the brand new one. Another nice day, but uh, I'll be lying if I said it wasn't starting to get pretty hot. Uh, we we're on the cusp of summer here, and yesterday, in particular, last two days, actually, I've been out, and it was mid 80s. It was pushing 84, 85, so it's definitely getting up there. And the worst part is that the uh, there's a little bit of humidity starting to crop in, and that's what really makes the difference. It can be in the 80s as long as it's not humid, then it feels great. But boy, once that humidity hits. It's all over, <laughs> and, uh, and it lasts for months and months and months. Yeah, I've made a stop here at the 7-Eleven in Celebration. Fueling up. Gas is still expensive. And I'm going to head inside and grab a coffee. Things are absolutely hopping here at the 7-Eleven, no doubt about that. Uh, but I got what I came for. I got my coffee here, and I'm ready to uh, head over to Celebration Point, I believe it is called, the new area I wanted to show off in the video. Have a Jersey Mike's sub over there. Looks like it's not open yet. They're still uh, 
building the place up from the inside. There's a new burger place that went in here that I saw a video on recently. It's supposed to be pretty good. I'm trying to see where that actually is. This is the burger place I heard about. It's called Fat Burger. And uh, it's supposed to be really, really good. Another review I saw online said it was quite tasty. So I'll have to be checking that out soon. I won't be checking it out today though. Well, here's the signature anchor store for the whole place, which is Publix. And that is a really cool design on that Publix. I like that. That is some really neat architecture. So I really like the new Publix. It's not uh, one of the biggest ones I've seen. It's not one of the smallest ones either. Though. It's kind of a medium-sized one. I really like uh, the layout, especially of the deli area. It, it, it's done remember, in a more modern style of like a central area with the uh, sort of customer-facing areas all the way around it. Really, really nice. Okay, so I've finally been to the new cool Publix here in Celebration. I uh, picked up a pub sub for lunch, always yummy, uh, and now I am headed back home, so I uh, hope you enjoyed this look at the new Publix, the new uh, Celebration Point, as it were, and uh, some of the some of the show shops that are here, some of the stuff that's coming, some of the restaurants that are already here. Anyway, thanks for liking, subscribing, uh, supporting the channel, all that good stuff, and as usual, I'm done here. One thing I failed to mention is the location of Celebration Point. If you come in what I call the back entrance to Celebration off of World Drive, you would take a right and then an immediate right into the shopping center. You'll actually see it on the right as you come over the overpass from the Disney World area.